Well, good morning, folks. You know that period of the year where you're transitioning from summer to fall. People talk about it all the time. They say, oh, it's a tough time to fish. We don't know where they're at. They're kind of scattered, that type of thing. Today, we're at Rin Lake. We're going to try to figure it out. Now, I have not fished Rin Lake for a long time, not since the spring. So we're going to start shallow, actually. We've got a nice, cool morning. This afternoon, it'll be hot. So it's a typical transition day. And that's what we're going to be doing today is fishing shallow and then kind of moving out until we fight figure it out. Structure fishing, vertical jigging, three pound fishing tackle. We're going to put some uh, active captain on the screen for you to show you exactly what I'm seeing. So stick with us. Please subscribe. All that great stuff, folks. It could be a great day today. I don't know. We're going to find out, but uh, either way, we're going to have fun. So sit back, relax. Let's get this thing done. Hmm. So we're fishing out of the Waltonville area on Rin Lake. There's just a lot of everything here. I mean, there's shallow, a little deep. We're gonna try to stay on this side of the trestle for a while, then we're gonna move out to the main lake. We're trying to experience different depths. Now there's a structure everywhere here, so you're gonna get an opportunity to try it at every depth. And we're just gonna see what is hot and what is not. That's the that's the whole point today. And that whole transition period, those fish are gonna start feeding. Those fish are gonna start separating themselves from the piles, from structure, so you can see them a lot better, especially on side imaging. I am fishing with the 13 footer, but I'll talk about that. I got the 13, the 14. I even have the scoping Ozark rod uh, for no other reason than I'd like to have two 13s up on the deck, but I do have the 14 as well. We might be fishing with it all today, and that's what's gonna be great. But right now we're only in three to four foot, foot of water, so we're gonna try to get a little deeper than that. I picked up, I think I can't. <laughs> I can't believe you ate it. Oh my God. This was looked like a crappie on a stick and then it went into the mud and I followed it down to the mud and by golly it hit it it's a good one. Oh, it's a huge it's a huge carp oh my goodness oh you guys gotta see this before I can get it. don't break me off come on please the wrong species folks <laughs> that was crazy oh my gosh okay drum city So that's right folks, maybe I should have zigged when I zagged because we're going to go back out the deep water and now that's what I'm going to suggest to you. Go back to where you last saw the fish, which was in deep water in the summertime. Typically that's where they're at. So we went back to deep water and we're going to have a lot of crappie going in the boat right here. But in the shallow water, yes, we caught just about everything but a crappie. First fish of the day, minus the carp. We're working hard to find them, folks. And that fish is in 14 foot of water, 11 foot down. Bam! It's a start. And the wind has kicked up. Because of the wind, I'm going to add an additional weight. Clearly, a number seven is not enough. Not enough weight. Mm. That's a better fish. 
You guys are rocking. Right there. Woo! Good fish there. Let them go. All right, so the advantage of an 8612 or any GPS maps is that you can do active captain. So when considering getting a monitor, consider the GPS maps models. That'd be like a 1022, a 1222 and the 8600 series. It is uh, fantastic if you like filming your catches. Boy, you had to tap it right in front of them. They looked a lot bigger, but that's still a, that's a, almost a pound fish right there. Good fish. What a day. We're catching tons of fish. We're doing it all with the three pound fishing tackle. And I'll tell you, the fish are active and that's what's great. I mean, I'm telling you right now, when you get these cool days, they start to separate from the structure. They get a little bit more active and we are moving into that fall transition, which I know might be a little bit confusing, but you can catch fish and run lakes a great opportunity. Good fish there, man. I'm using the carrot. American, uh, just check out a three pound fishing tackle. This is a smaller version of it, but bam, good fish there. Gosh dang, that's a beautiful fish. So Run Lake is just, it's just incredible fishery. It really does have a ton of fish, a lot of opportunities to drop on fish on structure. And uh, if you're interested, you know, check out the guide service I provide. You can check it out at 3poundfishing.com and 618-694-5162. Uh, and we'll go over there. I'm telling you folks, we will put fish in the boat. Man, that was a hard fought fish. I'll tell you what, we've gone back deeper. These fall fish are just not shallow yet. I won't say it's fall fish, but I'll say that in that transition period, they are not shallow. So I'd almost, you know, if I were recommending to somebody, I'd say almost, if you want to get on fish right away, just start where you last saw them. That would be summer fish, I'd go deep. I'd start deep and then I'd move in shallow if you were not finding them there. I do the exact opposite of what I did today. <laughs> Gosh, this, pit, this fish was finicky. You're not gonna see all that footage. Definitely the biggest fish of the day. But I dropped on it probably about 12 times. Changed pole. You can see I have the silver scope pole now. And uh, just to change the bait. And uh, that was a lot of work, but it paid off. This is probably the best fish so far of the day. That's a good fish right there. Guide services are going great. Check them out. This fall is going to be fantastic. This guy's got some growths on him. I don't know what I think about that. But... Check out those guide trips. The uh, fall bite is incredible. My favorite bite.
Well, folks, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. The transition in the fall, it ain't that easy, but uh, a lot of great fish that can be caught. That's a great fish here. Wren Lake, check out Wren Lake. You're gonna love it. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.